Minimal residual disease is the assessment for residual leukemia after somebody's gone through treatment. So historically that's been done with flow cytometry, sometimes with uh, specific PCR techniques. But now that we're in the era of personalized therapy, we want to add uh, molecular diagnostics through next generation sequencing. And so what my lab's been able to do is work out protocols to look at DNA, RNA, look for different types of genetic mutations. Uh, so we really want to make an entire technology suite of tools for the clinician to be able to mix and match to identify what's best for that patient going forward. What we call molecular MRD is going to overtake everything and so that's using these next generation sequencing techniques because the, the techniques that we've always used don't give you specific information on what treatments to apply to your patient. Some do, most don't. But the new technologies offer very targeted molecular diagnostics, so you could pick from an entire suite of targeted therapies. So, um, you know, part of it is what is the cost, what's the turnaround time, those are, are really, I think, the biggest barriers. Some of the um, computing needs that these technologies require uh, are not available at all institutions, so that's another um, a big barrier right now. So I think those are, are the areas where things are going to dramatically improve in the next couple of years.